Hey everyone, uh, this is Derek. Um, we're going to see a little bit of factoring coming up in the next few sections. So this is just a few practice problems to kind of remind you how to um, how to factor in case it's been a minute. Um, so what factoring is, is it's basically the opposite of, of FOIL. Um, so if you think of, if you think of having, say, six, I can factor that down to two times three. Um, so FOIL, it's like, it's multiply. So two times three makes six. That's the FOIL direction. And then factoring is the breaking it into the pieces. Um, so it's kind of basically we're trying to reverse FOIL. Um, so looking at this thing, this is where we, we set up our parentheses and we set up X's in front because we know this is going to go X times X to get X squared. And then we know here on the end, remember, it has to go this times this to make the 24. And then the trick was, so it has to multiply to be the 24 on the end. And then the numbers have to add to be the 11 in the middle. <clears throat> because when you do out your FOIL, you get the inside and the outside and those terms add together. So here we're looking for <clears throat> two numbers that multiply to be 24 and add to be 11 which sounds like positive three and positive eight. And so if I FOIL that out, I get my X squared, I get plus eight X plus three X, that's the 11 X, and then plus 24 on the end. Um, so if I do that, that would be FOIL. When I'm going this way, again, that's called factoring. Um, and it's a skill that'll pop up here and there throughout the quarter. Uh, this next one, same basic problem. So with the trinomials, we tend to, we'll run into ones that this will work. Um, so we'll set it up with our, our X's in front. I need two numbers to multiply to be um, 81 and then add to be negative 18. So this time notice they're multiplying to be a positive and adding to be a negative. So that means they both have to have negative signs because multiplying two negatives will make it come out positive. And then nine times nine would make 81 and then <clears throat> add to the negative 18. Um, you can also write this X minus nine quantity squared, those mean the exact same thing. Um, this one, so notice that one is multiplying to a negative value, so that means we're going to have one positive and one negative. And the sign in the middle tells you what sign the big number is going to take. Um, so we're looking for two things that multiply to be 32 and add to be 4. I tend to think of it when it's a minus like that, I tend to think of it as the numbers are 4 apart. Um, because one of them is going to be negative and one's going to be positive. So in this case, it'll be a plus 8 and a minus 4. Um, notice, the, again, the bigger number gets the positive sign uh, because it's a plus in the middle. So if that had been a minus, I would put the 8 with the, the negative. And then if you're ever, you know, not sure if you did it right, um, factoring is super easy to check, right? We just FOIL it and go x squared minus 4x plus 8x minus 32. And then there's our x squared plus 4x minus 32. Um, so very easy to check these. Uh, this last one is, uh, you might remember, it's called a difference of squares. So you can just figure out what multiplies to be 36 and adds to be 0 and come up with x plus 6, x minus 6, um, which will be the answer. Uh, but you might remember when you have ones of the form a squared minus b squared, those always come out a plus b and a minus b. And that's called a difference of squares, and we'll run into that a lot. Um, so that's a good one to know. So this is going to be x plus 6, and then x minus 6.